Hey, this is David of VerasFitness.com. I'm a certified fitness trainer, and welcome to Fat Loss Secret Number Three. If you watch this video, I'm going to show you um, one secret you can start using today to cut your workout times like a lot shorter. I don't know, it could be 30 minutes, an hour, two hours. People are ridiculous, um, and you're going to get better results. Okay, so watch this video if you want to get better results and cut your time at the gym or working out, whatever it is. I'll see you inside. So welcome back to Fat Loss Secret Number Three. On this uh, edition of Various Fitness, I'm going to show you how you cut your workout time in half and get better results. Okay, it's very very simple, but a lot of people don't know this. All right, so the, the one secret to doing that is to raise your intensity and to cut your workout time. All right, it's that simple. If you can, uh, what a lot of people do right now um, that are overweight or they're not getting results with their workout program is that they either, you know, they, they start their workout and they take too many breaks or they don't take their workout serious, it's very like low intensity. If, if you're on the treadmill, or I mean say, let's say, for, I forget treadmills because I, I, I don't do treadmills, but let's say, like, let's say you're working out with a friend and you guys like talking the whole time, that means the intensity isn't high, okay? That means you're just hanging out, you're having fun, right? Your workout's supposed to be like really intense, like you shouldn't be able to talk while you're working out too short out of breath, and your workout shouldn't be longer than 45 minutes, maybe an hour max. If you know what you're doing, no more than an hour. I know a lot of people, they think that you know, for you to work out, I mean, to be like in shape, you have to spend hours and hours in the gym, and you don't, okay? You can spend 30 minutes. If you have a high intensity workout, means you push yourself really hard for 30 minutes, you can get better results than somebody who slacks in the gym for three hours, all right? So it's very important that you, you focus, Call your attention to it. I see people that they work out and they're reading a book at the same time. If you're reading a book and you work at the same time, uh, you're either not reading that book too well or you're not working out too well. It's either one or two. You can't do both at the same time. All right. So, some action steps. All right. Um, next time I want you to work out, I want you to, to to knock it out really quick. I want you to go from one workout to the next. Okay. I to all flow. I to all to go together. So next time you work out, I want you to plan your workout ahead of time. I want you to know exactly what you're gonna do. All right, so as soon as you're done doing this thing, I want you to go to that thing. And once you're done doing that one thing, I want you to go to the next thing. I want you to have it all planned out. The better it's planned out, the better work you're going to have, guaranteed. All right? The next thing you're going to do is um, if you're working out at the gym, I want you to be more flexible with your workout. If you're working out at home, you don't have to worry about like sharing machines or something with somebody else. So that's an advantage of working out at home. But I know a lot of people don't have that luxury. They don't have like weights at home or something like that. Not saying that you need weights to work out at home, but... Um, it, it's, it's better if you're gonna be working out at, um, at like a, a gym or something like that, that you, you're, you're flexible, okay? So don't, if you see somebody using a machine or, or uh, some sort of equipment that you wanna use, um, have some other, another, another exercise in mind to, to avoid that one exercise, okay? So your, your flow doesn't get disrupted. The point is that you don't get your flow disrupted, right? You don't start talking, you start chilling out, hanging out. If you start hanging out, your heart rate goes down, if your heart rate goes down, you're not getting the maximum amount of work um, amount of workout in that time period. Okay. And another thing you can do is uh, don't pick exercises that take a lot of time to set up. I see a lot of people in the middle of the workout, they, they might start doing um, like uh, a crazy machine that involves you putting uh, weights around the whole thing, and it takes you like 10 minutes to set it up. And once you set it up, you already start getting cold. You don't even want to do the workout anymore. So that's another thing you want you to avoid as well. Okay. So very very simple. Uh, plan out your workouts ahead of time. Get get um, get that intensity high, and cut your workout times in, in half. Okay, so get that work, uh, put in hard work, and get it in fast and out of the way. And you should get way better results than somebody who spends three hours in the gym and they don't even get like a sweat going. Okay, very simple. All right. So um, another thing you can do is if you haven't done so already, you can pick up my program. It's called Fat Loss Made Simple. In that program, I have uh, exercises that you can do at home with no equipment at all. And it's already planned out for you. It's as easy as monkey see, monkey do. If you can follow my workout, um, then you can start getting results with your, um, with your own body, your own health. If you follow what I'm doing, it's called Fat Loss Made Simple. Um, you can find out more about it at fatlossmadesimple.com. And if you have any questions or concerns about this video, you're more than welcome to leave a comment below. Uh, I would be glad to, to respond to it if it's a good question or not. And um, if, you have, if you want to weigh that stuff, just wait for fat loss secret number four, uh, where I'm going to show you how you can um, get more full from each 
meal and not eat more calories. And it's not drinking more water, okay? So I know a lot of people out there say just drink more water. Um, that's kind of a lame uh, tip. So I'm going to show you a way better one, all right? So I'll see you on Thought Loss in